Hey guys, welcome to day four. Today we're reading Hebrews chapter two of just verses five through nine. And the main theme of today is simply that Christ was fully human. So we ended yesterday talking about, finishing talking about the angels and where they were. Well, we continue that thought, but moving briefly from the angels into humanity, into humans. And so we can see uh, in verse five, he, he tells us that, um, for it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come of which we are speaking. So we have this idea of angels, but here we can see that humans are above angels, that we are greater than angels. God created this earth. God created everything for us, not for the angels. The angels are a, a created being just like us, but they're created to be in heaven with God. But God created us for a very specific reason. And then in verse six, we can see a quote, and that quote's from Psalms 8. And he's talking about uh, what is man that you are mindful of him or the son of man that you uh, care for him. And then verse seven, you made him a little lower um, while lower than angels. You have crowned him with the glory and honor. And so we can see here humanity that that we are here and that we have been crowned with glory and honor. Now, what does that mean? We're sinners, right? We're not Jesus. He's not just talking to the saved people. But if you think about it in reality, every person ever made is made in the image of God. Every person in a little part of themselves are immortal people. We will, we will live forever. We will live forever in hell or we will live forever in in heaven, right? And so this idea of humans and who we are, we all are special. We all are crowned with this glory and honor, but not just to be kings, not just to be queens, not to have this greater ability, but we've been made in the image of God. So that gives us something, right? It's kind of an echo of Genesis chapter 1, 26, where he says, be made in the image of God. And two verses later in verse 28, it says, be fruitful and multiply. Why did God tell Adam and Eve to be fruitful and to multiply? And that's because he wanted to increase humanity. Humanity was put on this earth, not because God was bored and he needed somebody to talk to, but humanity was put on this earth so that we would mirror God's glory, that we would mirror God's honor. And so that when people saw themselves, when people saw other humans, they would see little glimpse of God and who he was. And so just a devotional thought, when people see you today, are they going to see God? Are they going to see God's glory? Are they going to see God's honor? Or are they going to see you and what you want them to be? But he goes on in verse 8. He says that, that all humans have been crowned with the glory and honor, but putting everything in subjection under his feet. Man was made to rule the world, but we kind of messed it up. Instead of ruling it, instead of pointing to God, we started pointing to ourselves and making it what we wanted. So there was a problem, right? God created the universe and he calls it for us to, to be there and to rule it and to point to his glory and honor. But we didn't do that. So, so we needed something else. We needed somebody to, to help us, to show us what could be done. A perfect human, a perfect human that would point to who God is and who God's glory is and what God's honor is. And of course, we know that person to be Jesus Christ, which is verse nine, verse nine. But we see him who was for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus. Jesus, he, God himself became lower than the angels, lower than the created, lower than us. And why did he become lower than us? Because um, because he was crowned with glory and honor because of his suffering of death. Because of his suffering of death. Notice that that if you read it backwards, if you flip that verse around, it says, because, uh, because of his suffering and death, Jesus was crowned with glory and honor. 
Jesus was crowned because Jesus tasted death for everyone. And it's kind of the sentiment that the writer of Hebrews is writing. Remember, he's writing to Jews and he's telling them who Jesus is. Jesus is God who stepped out of heaven, who came to earth and he died, but he wasn't, he didn't remain there. He was resurrected and he was honored. He was given God's glory and God's honor because he tasted death for us. It's the same that we'll see later Paul writing in Galatians chapter two, verse 20, where he says, I or we could put in the word we, I have been crucified with Christ. Because Jesus died, I have died. Because I believe in him and he has paid the penalty and he has died so that I would not have to, that I get to, could wear the honor, the, the glory and the honor that represents him and the Father. And so uh, the, what we're reading today is truly pointing to Jesus and pointing to his humanity. Hope you guys are understanding this. I'm so glad we're doing this, just learning more about who Jesus is and why Jesus is better. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.